welcome to He Sees Us All YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about storms and hurricanes of biblical proportions becoming the new norm in our lives. Um, first, I would like to take you to Luke chapter 21, verses 25 and 26. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations, with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Now, I shouldn't even have to say that we have absolutely been seeing signs in the sky. Uh, between all the recent eclipses we've been having and planet alignments that only occur every so many thousand years, uh, the alignment we had last September is specifically mentioned in Revelation. Uh, and the part, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, I think is specifically speaking of man taking control of things that belong to God, uh, like the weather, for instance. Um, and for the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. With Harp's technology, we are controlling the weather by literally shocking the sky. Or shall we call it the heavens? Harp stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research. And what they do after chemtrailing the crap out of the sky is send a microwave through these antennas to the ionosphere. And this can effectively change the cloud patterns in the sky, causing straight lines or different patterns and designs when you see the sky looking like freakishly weird you can thank harp for that it can also cause massive earthquakes by sending a really powerful beam up to the ionosphere bouncing it off of the ionosphere back down to the earth causing a severe earthquake and then maybe in turn causing a tsunami like fukushima or it can control the weather by creating massive hurricanes hurricanes so massive that we're going to have to add a category to the saffir simpson scale now, the Saffir Simpson scale is the way in which we measure hurricanes today, and currently this scale only goes up to a Category 5. Now, the really interesting thing here is that the news is talking about adding a Category 6 to the scale. This is an article from the LA Times. The world has never seen a Category 6 hurricane, but the day may be coming. No one knows how strong they could get as they're fueled by warmer ocean water. Timothy Hall, senior scientist at NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, said top wind speeds of up to 230 miles per hour can occur by the end of the century if current global warming trends continue. So basically, they're talking like Category 7 hurricanes here. This would be the strength of an F4 tornado, which would pick up cars and throw them through the air. Um, tornadoes are, you know, more dangerous because they, well, I wouldn't say they're more dangerous, but they're, they're more unpredictable because they change directions rapidly, so they're considered more destructive. Um, does that mean a Category 5 hurricane scale should be expected? Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Does that mean the Category 5 hurricane scale should be expanded to include Category 6 or even Category 7? The Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale developed in the early 1970s ranks hurricanes from Category 1, which means winds of 74 miles per hour to 95 miles per hour, to Category 5, which cover winds of 157 miles per hour or more. Since each category covers a range of wind speeds, it would appear that once wind speeds reaches 190 to 200 miles per hour, the pattern may call for another category, or two, I would say. Uh, last season saw two Category 5 hurricanes, Irma and Maria, with Irma reaching 180 miles per hour. Now that would be like a 6 or 7. And in 2015, off Mexico's Pacific Coast, Hurricane Patricia achieved a freakish sustained wind speed of 215 miles per hour. Now, um... Sustained means it stayed that way for a while, like it was 200, 215 miles per hour for some period of time. Now that would be a Category 7 for sure. That is a freakishly strong hurricane. If we had twice as many Category 5s at some point several decades down the line, if that seems to be the new norm, then yes, we'd want to have some more partitioning at the upper part of the scale, Hall said. At that point, a Category, category 6 would be a reasonable thing to do. Um... So, between each category is only about 20 miles per hour, and with Irma reaching 180 and Patricia reaching 215, Category 6 is really only the beginning. I, I think Category 7 would even be permitted, and they're talking like it getting even higher than that. So, this is what? Going to be an ongoing thing? And these storms produce hail that could literally kill a man. I mean, look at the damage that this these balls of ice are causing. It's not funny. Um... But could these things would go right through your skull if you were standing outside while this was happening. So should the hurricane scale be expanded to a Category 6? 
Uh, well, with the speeds between the categories only being about 20 miles per hour or so, then yeah, I would say so, and then some. And it should really be a huge wake-up call to everybody that if in the past we rarely saw wind speeds above 155 miles per hour, and now they're breaking 200, um, something literally of biblical proportions is definitely on its way. Uh, with headlines reading, only a matter of time before the U.S. sees Category 6 hurricane to... Uh, don't pay attention to the hurricane category. Uh, you know, I I think I should be opening up everywhere, literally. Like, they'd like you to believe that climate change is all your fault. Oh, not just yours, but all people in general. That we cause climate change with our cars and our garbage and even cows, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. And that should go without saying. Never mind all the spraying and the shocks to the ionosphere. It's your fault. And we're going to tax you for it. Uh, the Pope is a major pusher in the climate change caused by man agenda. Pope Francis, a man who qu is quoted as calling himself the devil compar in comparison to our previous Pope, says he rebukes climate change deniers and uh, even calls them stupid. So, yeah, there there you have that. Um now, I don't deny climate change at all, but I do refuse to accept their reasons for it. Uh, Revelation chapter 16, verse 21 states, And there fell upon man a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And man blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceedingly great. Now, a talent is reported to be about 110 pounds or 50 kilograms. Some people, I'm guessing, you know, mainly masons and occultists say that the weight is about 33 kilograms because you got your 33 there that would be 75 pounds um so either way we're talking about hail that would crush buildings and break through the ground we are seeing hail the size of golf balls and tennis balls already and in revelation it states that the hail will be exceedingly great so we're already seeing hail huge and it's going to get worse. Enough to smash right through car windows uh, and cause severe damage. And that's now. And the plague of the hail is set to get worse. So people in the past, you know, they've always thought that the end was just around the corner. But today, um, we can literally link sign for sign. Uh, like last September, for instance, the eclipses, the earthquakes. Um, I even think the locusts from the pits have been identified. And they even showed us uh, how they will do it. So, you know, they put the idea out there, like, you know, this is possible with AI technology, here you go, this is how you do it, and now it's only a matter of time before it happens. I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, give it a like. Uh, share this video with all of those that you hold close. The end of this age is coming, and may you all find where you stand in God's sight. May God bless you all, and through Jesus, may you find forgiveness and love.